get your keys, love heart. You know, so if you could have called, I would have come and let you in. No, wait. You did call. Several times. You have one new voice message. I got your message. I didn't understand a lot of it because I'm not fluent in the backstabbing bitch. You have one new voice message. Sophie, I just want to talk to you. I have apologised. just want to talk it out. Drop the fucking act with the... Fucking talking and the fucking wholemeal bread. You sound like a naturopath. Someone who is to fall out at any given moment. You're being incredibly uptight. You can't counsel me on my problems, Alex, because you are my problem. I've said I'm sorry. I have apologised. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. I don't even want to hear you take a shower, but you should because you're a dirty slut. Hi, Sophie, it's Miranda here. Just wanted to confirm my appointment changed to 10.30 tomorrow. Okay, see you, bye. Shit, I'll heat the wax up. Hi! Hi, Miranda. Hi. I'm afraid it's a little unruly down there, Sophie. Nothing I can't handle, Miranda. Skirt up. Look, I think we both just said some things that we didn't mean last night. Oh, Miranda, you've got a few ingrown hairs. Oh, I don't know what they're hiding from. Probably some slutty ex-best friend, Miranda. If you want to live your life like some ingrown hair festering down in some passive aggressive little follicle, that's your choice, Sophie. Wax not too hot, Miranda. But you know as well as I do that unless you get that hair to confront reality, it's just going to bury itself deeper and deeper and before you know it... Leg up. You're at the emergency room being operated on for an infection that smells like blue cheese and is eating its way through your pubic bone. Coming out nicely, Miranda. <gasps> Whew, they don't go willingly, do they? Miranda, there is natural and then there's the fucking Amazon. I feel like I've been trying to find a way to tell you for a while now that you have an unruly, disgusting and incomprehensibly unfeminine bush. I had no idea. And that is why I am proposing we go the full hog. Get rid of all of that unruly, backstabbing pubic hair right out of your life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's not be rash. Your bush is a part of who you are. And it has been since you were 14. Do you want to throw all of that away? <gasps> You'll be surprised, Miranda, at how easy it is to just throw away. Oh, that is fucking disgusting, Sophie. It's funny, Miranda, because if you're following the metaphor like I think I am following the metaphor, then it seems like she's just disgusted herself. Oh, no, 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 no. no. And if I'd no, done no, no, something no, no. as oh, no, disgusting no, 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 as that, no, no, no. I would be disgusting Sophie, myself please. as well. I've been trying to apologise for a whole week now for this thing that exists in the black hole of memories, and you're acting like perfect relationship has been ruined when really you have been trying to find a way to break up with him for three months. <laughs> as soon as he left, there's a landing strip. Not anymore, Miranda. It's all gone. It's done. Oh. You can't take it back. Sophie. <laughs> Somewhere in your mind, you have skewed this so you're the one who's been hurt, but you did this to me, Alex. Look what you did to Miranda. <gasps> Pete's gonna love it. <gasps> it's gonna be $45, Miranda. <laughs>